Hey everybody, it's me again, Russ, with a Record Store Day, another Record Store Day vinyl review. Uh, the Amy Winehouse Remixes record. And it's already been uncellophaned. Decellophaned? This is one uh, that I, I am a big fan, my wife's a big fan too, and we, you know, had to get this one. Saw this pop up on the list. Remixes is like, okay. This is done by uh, Harmonic 33 Remix. I couldn't find a lot of information about Harmonic 33. Um, here's the vinyl. It is yellow. Sleeve is pretty cool too. It's not like your average paper sleeve. It's actually a plastic sleeve so you don't get paper goo in there so yeah on the on the yellow vinyl um gave this a spin uh you know it's just this is my opinion all right i'm just a dude you know i'm not here to yuck anybody's yum all right I'm not a I'm not a yum yucker. This is I'm an old punk rock metal guy from Seattle, right? I, I was a teenager in the '80s. A lot of my music, you know, some soulful music I got into some um, some of that British stuff. I I love this stuff. Uh, I'm an Amy Whitehouse fan. Um, I like hip hop. I'm not a anti hip hop white guy, right? I'm not that guy. Old, you're just fifty something, Rosen. You're just not in it. Um, Amy Winehouse passed away in in 2011. Tragic. Uh, I've been to rehab myself, so I understand and, and empathize. I'm empathetic AF when it comes to someone very creative like Amy Winehouse losing her life and. And uh, her music's just very soulful and uh, bluesy, you know. I just wish she could have made more music. And that's, I'm sure that's what Harmonic 33 is kind of after. They're, they're remixing some of the stuff. Here's the, uh, again, the cover. This is the yellow one. I just didn't get it, you know. I'll be honest. It's, you know, you take this soulful voice and you put hip-hop tracks and dance tracks over it and to it and I just didn't get it I just didn't get it man this is the I didn't like this this yellow one all right the blue one I did like a little better this has it has rehab on it twice rehab is on both um, both discs so here's the blue one blue vinyl it's transparent i mean the vinyl is cool and all but the remixes i did like the harmonic 33 stronger than me um but there's a lot i didn't like i mean as a collector i'm, I'm glad i got it but it's just not i don't know <laughs> it's just i just don't i just don't get it maybe that's just me Whoever Harmonic 33 is, no offense, it's it's just, um, I guess, stronger than me uh, was on the charts when the, those remixes were first rele released. All right, perhaps I've been harsh. Give uh, the blue record a chance here. This is, uh, here's the back of the, the record. I still have the cellophane on it. Mine didn't come with a sticker, so I could just take this cellophane off, but it is kind of protecting the, it's protecting the vinyl cover itself, but. So yeah, this, um, love Amy Winehouse. The remixes were just kind of weird. And I don't know, I'll be honest, you know, if I, I'm a hip hop fan, but not as much as some folks out there. I'd love your feedback on this album, if you've heard it. Uh, if you haven't heard it, I'll put a link in the description to a playlist where you can listen to it right here on YouTube. 
Um, and and I'd love to hear I'd love to hear your feedback on it. I just didn't get it, man. I'm fairly disappointed. This album is not selling on eBay so far with the auctions for as much as I bought it for, right? Like, um, so you know, I don't know. Does that signify there's thirteen thousand copies of these made, and that's it? So this is one of those exclusive thirteen thousand only. Um, okay. This uh, is already selling for more than I bought it for. This is the Queen uh, live album with Adam Lambert uh, as the vocalist. This is recorded in Japan. I'm going to do a review on this one next. But this one, again, so yeah, there was 3,500 copies where this one was 13,000. Amy Winehouse, um, the collector's market. I know, my cat is chiming in. He, he doesn't know what to think either. But he, you know, his, his home is in the records. So he's got, he's got street cred. My cat, Pharaoh. Um, so that's just my review on this one, man. Um, and I am a big Amy Winehouse fan. The blue record, I, I, I could tolerate. <laughs> it was all right. I, I, could, I will spin that one again, you know, uh, just to give a fair shake for everything. But... But yeah, so far, uh, uh, uh. this people, this right here is just a much better record. I know <laughs> it's back to black. It's it's amazing. All right, this this is a better buy. At least, at least, at the very least, add this to your vinyl collection, is what I'm saying. Thanks for watching. Uh, Subscribe, like, uh, comment. Love to hear your feedback on, on Amy Winehouse remixes. Because I'm, I'm just kind of disappointed in it, honestly. Bye. Give this another chance. Hair. Pharaoh, where'd you go? Pharaoh! He's going to chime in like that.